Space food, goodies from a lunchbox, and pizza made by a rat. Hollywood Studios offers lots of quick service dining options. Learn about them today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. Welcome your Royal Highnesses, I'm Taylor with Walt Disney World Adults Only and today we will be discussing your quick service dining options in Hollywood Studios. Like I said in the Magic Kingdom quick service video, which will be linked in the description down below, Disney defines a quick service restaurant as generally either a cafeteria style or counter service venue that offers great food and quick service. When the Disney Dining Plan returns, you will use a quick service credit at these restaurants, which will get you an entree and a drink. If you're paying out of pocket, you can expect to spend between $10 and $15 for an entree. Also, quick service dining options offer and encourage the use of mobile ordering. I explain more about mobile ordering in the Magic Kingdom quick service video, so if you want to learn more, you can check it out there. And keep your eyes out and expect a video just about mobile ordering in the future. So, what quick service options are available for you in Hollywood Studios? In the park, you'll be able to find eight quick service restaurants, which we will be discussing today. They also have a ton of bars and lounges and stands that offer great snack options or quick to go options, but we will be discussing those in a later video. Let's start on Sunset Boulevard. When you turn down the street towards the Tower of Terror, you will eventually run into three quick service options that are basically connected. These restaurants have a side of the road, grab and go sort of feel to them. The first one you're gonna run into is Rosie's All-American Cafe. Here they serve lunch and dinner and you'll find basic hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and chicken nuggets. You'll also find a plant-based lobster roll, which sounds pretty interesting. And you'll find lots of holiday treats during those special seasons. Something you'll find that's different than the Magic Kingdom is that all of the other parks offer alcohol at their quick service dining restaurants. So here you'll find beer, sangria, uh, Bloody Mary, and some mixed drinks options as well. Second, and right next to Rosie's, you'll find Catalina Eddie's. Here they have a really basic menu of pizzas and salads. Your third and final option on this street is Fairfax Fair. Here they offer empanadas, a fajita platter, pulled pork sandwiches, rice bowl options, and a salad. Please be aware that during the current times, only one of these options may be open, and generally it's going to be Rosie's. So if you're wanting to eat there, just plan accordingly. So obviously the options at these three restaurants are pretty basic, but sometimes you just need chicken nuggets. And this is a really, really fun spot to eat because it has all outdoor seating and you can hear the screams of fear, I mean joy, coming from the Tower of Terror. So don't rule out these options completely just because they're basic. Keep them in mind. Next, let's head to the ABC Commissary, which you will find on Commissary Lane. This restaurant has a television show commissary theme, and here you will find posters, props, and costumes from your favorite ABC shows. This restaurant recently went through a major menu refurb. Now you'll be able to find a curry bowl, shrimp and pork tacos, a chicken club, Mediterranean salads, a buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich, curry tofu rice bowl and a california burger will be your plant-based options and they have margaritas beer and wine to drink i've been here once before the menu refurb and had this shrimp noodle bowl it was pretty good and their watermelon margarita yeah that's where i'm at this restaurant also has a ton of indoor seating so it's a really really good option for those really hot summer florida days 
Our next restaurant is the Backlot Express, which you will find nestled between the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular and Star Tours. Themed like a production warehouse and full of unique props, here you will find burgers, a Cuban sandwich, Southwest salads, chicken strips and fries, a plant-based option called the Tatooine Two Sons Hummus, which is a red pepper hummus topped with plant-based meat and lots of garnishes served with pita bread and a tossed spring salad. They also have the Wookiee Cookie with lots of mixed drinks, wines, and beer options. The Backlot Express is a favorite for a lot of people. I've personally never eaten there, but I might have to add it to my list to get some of those pretty unique cocktails they have. The next restaurant you will come upon is Pizza Rizzo. This spot is located on Grand Avenue and is a friendly neighborhood joint run by Rizzo from the Muppets. Here you'll find several personal pizza options, a meatball sub, and any pasta salad, plant-based spicy Italian sausage sub, and a cannoli for dessert. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this restaurant is not known for getting the best reviews. The pizzas are pretty tiny and mediocre at best from what I heard, but the restaurant itself does offer a ton of really well-themed indoor seating. And if you just need a pizza, or if you love the Muppets, this might be the place that you're looking for. The seventh restaurant you'll find is in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's called Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. Hungry travelers can fuel up on galactic rum at this local Black Spire eatery. They have some really unique options, and when they first opened, they didn't really explain what these unique options were with their weird names. Now it's a little more straightforward. Please excuse my pronunciation of some of these options. I'm not fully up to date on my space lingo. Here you'll find the Batuan Beef Pot Roast and Dorian Fried Chicken Tip Yip, smoked kadu pork ribs, roasted andorian chicken salad, a Felucian kefta and hummus garden spread, which I've heard is really excellent, a batu bon, which is a chocolate cake with white chocolate mousse, moof juice, which is a non-alcoholic drink option, and the takodana quencher and the surly sarlacc, which are their specialty alcoholic beverages. This is a really unique and fun restaurant with lots of indoor and outdoor seating. I ate here pre-COVID when they had a breakfast option and I really, really enjoyed it. The breakfast was served in these really cool, almost cast iron skillet-like plates and it was really delicious and unique looking. You know, you go to the parks and you see hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries, which is great, there's nothing wrong with that. But to go to a land like Galaxy's Edge and see the food as well themed as the design itself is so fantastic. So I personally highly recommend this option, especially if you're a big Star Wars fan. Last up, and probably one of the most popular locations is in Toy Story Land. You've already shrunk down to the size of the toy, so don't be surprised when you walk up on a larger than life lunchbox. This is Woody's lunchbox. Here you'll find a barbecue brisket melt, a grilled cheese sandwich, tachos, which are potato barrels, or as we call them, tater tots, coated with beef and bean chili, shredded cheese and queso, and lots of other toppings. These are becoming a cult favorite among Disney fans. They also have a toasted cheddar sandwich, which is a plant-based option. And they have their famous lunchbox tarts, which are homemade pop tarts in several different flavors. They have a few beer options and a grown-up lemonade, which is delicious. At the time of recording, this is the only quick service restaurant in Hollywood Studios that offers breakfast. It is really only one option, they're tachos, but instead of chili and cheese, you're gonna have a brisket country gravy smothering your potato barrels along with eggs. It actually sounds pretty delicious. As I mentioned, this location is extremely popular, but for good reason. As I said earlier, I like to be a little more adventurous when I'm eating in Disney, but if you're there for a long time, sometimes you need something that you're comfortable with. 
and on our last visit we went for lunch and I ordered the turkey sandwich and let me tell you it was a really excellent turkey sandwich. The bread is nice and thick. There was lots and lots of meat. It was really, really good. And as I said earlier, that adult lemonade is not to be messed with. Keep in mind that this location only has outdoor seating. There's a lot of it, but it does fill up really, really quickly. So if you spot a table, grab it right away. I hope this video has helped you learn more about your quick service dining options in Hollywood Studios. If you can't get some of those harder to get table service reservations or you like to eat on the go, there is food for any type of palate in the quick service options. And of course you can find a ton of snack options as well, but we'll cover those in a future video. Tell me in the comments down below which is your favorite Hollywood Studios quick service restaurant. Is there any that you really want to try but you haven't gone to yet? I want to hear your opinions. Give this video two thumbs up. Well, just one. Click that thumb button and share it with your friends to help them plan their most wonderful Walt Disney World vacation. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you know when we release new videos. Please join us in our Walt Disney World Adults Only Facebook group. I will link it in the description down below. There we will continue this discussion along with many, many more. And remember, as always, never grow up.